the first part of the lesson. What's up, sluts? So the other day, I was watching a Grand Champ streamer on Twitch, and I won't throw out his name because we're not, we're not bully hunters. I don't want you chronic trolls to go and ruin his life or anything like that. But what caught my attention about this guy is how much he was complaining during the stream. It's almost like he was predisposed to just be angry at his teammates and constantly expect them to make a mistake so he would have something else to complain about. See, I'm trying to be a smart guy here and analyze this guy. Analyze these complainers, not analyze. Make that distinction. Professor Linkaroo here. I get the impression that when you whine and complain about teammates, you assure yourself that you're not the reason your team is losing. It's not me! I'm not making those mistakes! If we really want to be professors right now, we could call this confirmation bias, which is a term in uh, psychology. Pycology? Mmm, pie. So, a confirmation bias is a type of cognitive bias that involves favoring information that confirms your previously existent beliefs or biases. Basically, if you start a Rocket League match with the immediate expectation that your team is probably gonna suck, you'll start looking for mistakes very closely just to confirm your beliefs. So when your teammate whiffs that easy shot, you're gonna be like, Yo, I knew it. I knew it! I knew he was gonna suck. And it also gives me that vibe that you're kinda boosting your own ego. A feeling of grandeur. It's like you're reminding yourself that you're better than the other players. Look at you making mistakes, how dare you? How dare you in my plane of existence? How do you come to my video game and whiff the ball? I never make mistakes, I am perfect! Look at me! My unstoppable skills in Rocket League. Like, nah, get the f*** out of here, man. Wouldn't it be more fun if you just tried not to give up? Right? Look, man, most people don't really want to watch a stream where someone's just yelling and complaining the whole time. Nobody likes a whiner. Who likes a whiner? Stop negging. Don't neg. No one likes a negger. Dude, that sounds... that sounded... You know what? Whiners, not viners. I mean, we hate Logan Paul and all the, those people, but... Nobody wants to see you whine for three hours straight. That's not a fun stream. Instead, you can watch a 10-minute video about me whining about whiners. Whineception. Not only would it make playing the game less stressful for you, people might also enjoy your content a little more. Now, before you start showing the goddamn mirror to me, I know I'm not perfect either, but my streams can get pretty heated sometimes. This guy's trash. I'm telling you, this guy's trash. Stop dropping the ball! Sometimes I'm yelling at my teammates for doing the stupid shit they do. But I feel like I usually try to make it more comedic. I'm not usually actually mad, I just do it for the entertainment of it. Make a joke out of it, you know? So there's another pro tip for you. In my past though, if you've ever seen my gameplay from like three years ago... Don't... No... No, you fuck... Uh, what is happening? Oh, fuck sack! How's that more not more powerful? Fuck you! Damn it! I need a rematch. What the fuck was that flip though? My car was supposed to get on its freaking wheels. Good almighty Jesus, man! Was I fucking annoying? Apparently, my microphone wasn't recording, so. We're gonna have to use the shitty quality from the phone recording. My point is, when you complain, you kinda sound like a big old bitch. So man up, shut your mouth, and play the game. Or woman up? Um, human up? One up? Super Mario type shit? Linkaru, a lord of positivity. Today I want to teach you young ones what it truly means to be a positive influence. What it means to be an alpha amongst all these anti-epic gamers and lame complainers. So give your butt cheek a single slap and get ready for this lesson. The second part of the lesson. What's up, big boys and small girls? That sounded very wrong. What's up, people? Fucking Christ. It is now time. I'm gonna play like two games, alright? And this is teaching number two. I'm trying to teach you guys how to be positive, okay? I'm gonna make a randomized card just because I think this will really amplify. 
what we're trying to achieve today. You know what, it's not too bad. This car looks like a really uptight, middle-aged woman who's on her way to go play tennis. Champ free! I swear to god, if I see a single comment saying, Oh, I thought you were a GC, Linkuru. What happened? Yeah, I'm, I'm about to smack you. I will smack you. See? No, no room for toxicity today. We're only gonna be nice. I tend to be mean to teammates sometimes, and today is just not gonna be one of those days, man. We are a changed human being. We're becoming a stronger version of ourselves. An improved and developed Linkuru. Positiveru. See, teammate, you're doing a great job so far. Step number one, you gotta compliment your teammate as much as possible to the point where it becomes extremely annoying and downright becomes almost like harassment. Oh, Jesus. You know what? I think it's important to also remember to not be toxic at yourself. You remember in that one video where I mentioned that you probably don't, you know, ever yell at yourself, so why would you yell at your teammates? Well, I was wrong. Now that I think about it, true, I do yell at myself sometimes. I got like 50 comments from people saying that they totally do yell at themselves, and now, you know what, you're right, that does happen. But today, no, none of that. None of that. Today, only positivity towards everyone, including yourself. Self-love is super important. You should always keep yourself as a top priority. Keep your health, your well-being, and, uh, you stupid fuck, Link, you just blocked an easy shot. Sorry. Wait, 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 hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Let's get it. So we're down by one gold, but that's okay. See, positivity always beats the bad guys, and th in this case, there's no bad guys, because it's all good vibes, man. It's good opponents, good teammates, everything's great, man. Step two is, no matter how many mistakes your teammate makes, he's still your teammate, he's still in this with you. You're in this together trying to win a match. It may be competitive, but at the end of the day, it's all just a fun video game. <laughs> <laughs> no! Get out of my- You stup stupid f Stop chasing me! You f***ing prick! Nah. Listen, listen. Demoing is a totally valid tactic. It's a strategy. It's part of the game. You just gotta accept it. And I have to commend, my opponent did a great job there. Very tactical, very high, highly skill-based. See, I appreciate it, I appreciate it. I, sh I should probably learn something from him. See, that's the thing, if anything ever feels negative, you have to turn it positive. There's always something good in the bad. If you have a bad experience, or things don't go your way, or you make a mistake, you can always learn from it. Always find something out of it and turn into a positive. And that is step number three. Pass to teammate. See, we play together. That's how we roll. Look at that team play. Look at that. Positivity always wins, man. Every time. He said, hello, Linkaroo. Look at his manners. Even our opponents are showing great sportsmanship here. If you're one of those people who say good luck, have fun at the start of a match, you are a blessing. You are just a gift from heaven. Thank you. You're not annoying at all. Trust me. What? Dude, I'm so slow! Stupid idiot! Stay positive. Always good things to come. I, I, it's easy for me to stay positive at the moment because I know we're going to win this match. Good guys always win. They always do. See, that doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't phase me. Phase up! 80%! Take all my money, phase! Phase Clan, please, release the contract. Forfeit, huh? See, that's how you're gonna do me. This whole game, I'm, I've am i been your best friend, pretty much. Been supporting you all the way through this, teammate. And this is what you give me, a f***ing forfeit. You're so ungrateful. You piece of shit. Is that how it is? Okay, don't get demoed. Sure, don't get demoed, that's fine. No, no, that's totally fine, dude. I don't even give a shit. I don't even care. Awesome. Love to see it. Love to see it. Get me in, phase. Get me in. Take my 80%, I don't even care about revenue at this point. Give me a contract, make me Tfue number two. You know what, take all my money. I don't, I don't even, I don't even care. Stupid ass teammates, stupid ass opponents, bunch of nut lickers. No respect, no sportsmanship, just assholes all over the damn place, man. I can't take it. This is bullshit. 
How am I meant to how am I meant to live life like this, man? You just wanna be a good guy, you know? Just wanna be positive. Just spread those vibes, man. All these people just hating. All they do is type hate comments and yell at you in ranked. What's wrong with these people, man? Stupid assholes. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, guys. My name is Ling Kuru. A lot of people think my Minecraft server is a joke. No, I have a Minecraft server. It's not a joke. This is the IP. Fuck. I got Twitter, Twitch, Bitch, Discord, Instagram, and my Minecraft server. It's not a joke. Okay, thank you guys. See ya and peace.